I was in high school. Uh, our second period was was ending. We had something called Channel One Time, which is basically morning and announce morning announcements. And uh, instead of hearing the morning announcements, we had our AV teacher uh, come on the screen, and he he <laughs> basically said uh, something's happened in New York. I was in Maron Air Base, Spain, and that's in southern Spain. I had just arrived a few weeks before 9-11. And I was actually in my home on base, uh, base housing, and the fire chief was at my home doing his annual inspection. And his phones went off, and then my phones went off, and we knew something had happened. I stayed in school. Uh, I had lunch over there. But um, a couple of classmates, they went home and had had lunch at home and they watched the news. Uh, it was all daytime um, and when that happened, so they came back from lunch and told us there was a couple uh, skyscrapers fell, um, fell in New York, the both like 100 floors. I was, we were shocked and said, were you watching some American movies or were you, you had an illusion or what happened? So uh, nobody believed it until uh, that night when we went home, we all saw the news, same news on the central TV in China. It took a while for everything to, to sink in. It just seemed like a movie. Well, I thought that was from the movie, but it actually it's kind of footage. So um, it was very shocking. After a certain period of time, we saw that second plane uh, strike the other tower. From there, what, do we, what, are, we, what are we gonna do as a nation? Um, so if you're comfortable with it, we'd like to show you some of the footage from that day. Yeah. Yeah. 9.47 a.m. Hi, baby. I'm, baby, you have to listen to me carefully. I'm on a plane that's been hijacked. I'm on the plane. I'm calling from the plane. I want to tell you I love you. Please tell my children that I love them very much. And I'm so sorry, babe. I hope to be able to see your face again, baby. I love you. It brings it back. Um, it brings it back to the horror of watching it over and over and over again. Um, the uh, traumatic uh, impact that it had on people. Um, it's hard to watch parts of it. I, I think we all got inundated with it uh, the weeks and months right after 9-11. It was just breaking us apart to watch it over and over again. A second impact, it, it just, it's a, it's a shock that goes from head to toe, and sometimes it's faster than others, but it's generally speaking within a second or two. And you end up feeling like this, this cold rush, and uh, kind of puts you back in the place of where you were back when it happened the first time. Those pictures are just exactly like the same thing in my memory, so. It's uh, one of the main reasons I joined the Air Force. I think there's something more we can do um, for the world and not only for the United States. I think the terrorism is just an enemy for all. It's worth for us to fight against. It.